Hey everybody, in this video tutorial I'm going to show you how to convert files to different file formats using ChatGPT. So as you can see in this example, I have converted PNG file, which I uploaded to ChatGPT here, to a JPEG file, and also I'm going to show you another example in this tutorial. To be able to convert files to different file formats, we have to use this ChatGPT code interpreter ChatGPT plugin if we want to do this inside ChatGPT. But there are a ton of use cases for this code interpreter ChatGPT plugin. So if you want to learn more about this plugin, make sure to check out this article that I will link in the description below. Also share some of the best prompts you can use this plugin with. And you can also get access to a complete database of all currently available ChatGPT plugins that can be installed from the ChatGPT plugin store. You can search this plugin database by category, plugin name, description, and get quick access to ChatGPT plugin video tutorials, the best use cases and prompts for all available ChatGPT plugins. The database can be downloaded for free, but you can also support the maintenance and the frequent updates of the database with a small donation. Any support is appreciated. You can get access to this database by using the link in the description below. But now let's see how we can use the code interpreter ChatGPT plugin to convert files to different file formats. So as you can see, we have to be a ChatGPT Plus subscriber at the time of recording this video to be able to use the code interpreter ChatGPT plugin. And we also have to enable this code interpreter plugin. If you don't know how to do that, check out the tutorial I have on my YouTube channel on how to enable the code interpreter plugin. But once the plugin is enabled, all we have to do is click on upload file here and upload our file. We want to convert to another file format. So in this example, let's use a docx file and we will convert it to PDF. So click on upload file here, upload the docx file. And as you can see, the file is being uploaded and it has already been uploaded. So you can be of course more specific with your prompts, but in this simple example, we're gonna ask ChatGPT to convert this file to a PDF file Then click on send message. So you don't have to use any kind of function or Python code. If the code interpreter plugin is enabled, ChatGPT will know that it has to use the code interpreter plugin to be able to do that. So as you can see, it first tried to use this uh, Python package because in most cases it will use Python to use the code interpreter plugin. And now it's using the Python docx package to convert the docx5 to PDF. And as you can see, now we can download it using the link below. So you can click on this download file link download it to our computer and now if we open up this should be the converted file in a pdf format and it is actually quite good so as you can see this is the converted file and this was the original file i've, I've uploaded to ChatGPT and then converted to a pdf format so all you know, this is how to convert files to different file formats using ChatGPT. As you could have already seen, you cannot only convert docx to PDF files, but you can convert image files to different image file formats. You can convert video files, you can convert CSV files to Excel files, and there are a ton of other use cases for this ChatGPT plugin. If you want to learn more about this code interpreter ChatGPT plugin, that can be also used for data analysis, cutting, editing videos and images, doing code refactoring, and there are a ton of use cases. I have YouTube tutorials on this code interpreter ChatGPT plugin on my YouTube channel. And I also have a ton of other YouTube tutorials on how to use other ChatGPT plugins that can be used for finance, business, marketing, scientific research, and basically any use case you can think of. So make sure to subscribe because more tutorials are coming up as well. And also, if you want to get access to the complete ChatGPT plugin database that includes categories, searchable descriptions, and more, you can also find the link to that in the video description below.